Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is a Let's Play uh, Trails of Cold Steel 2, part 104. In the previous video, uh, we were fighting McBurn and then he s crapped us three times over the course of the fight and also healed for about, I don't know, 200,000 over the course of that video because of 10% heals and being broken and uh, let's not talk about it before we already get tilted. So I did refight him. This is actually probably like the third attempt. It's a new day. Uh, basically, both previous attempts lasted for about, I don't know, 20 minutes. And then he got his third S-Craft in and there's like nothing I can do, dude. Because it can literally hit for like 27k. Which is vastly more HP than you can realistically have. I mean, there's Artemis tiers, but that only works the one time. So we, he just literally just used his second S-Craft, which we tanked with Artemis Tears. The first one, I just like had to go back and equip Prozzy Poppets on everyone so that we could live through the first uh, S-Craft and then save Artemis Tears for the second. And then we just have to hope we kill him before he can do his third, which is, I mean, it, it's a basically all RNG if he gets heals in. I mean, it's not completely RNG, but it's whether or not like I can maintain focus for the next 10 minutes and not get bored at how slow this fucking fight is. So let's, uh, let, let's think. We want to just prioritize getting rid of these debuffs for now. It's my turn. How, when would your Seraphic Ring come in? A little too early. Instead, just mirror. Start building our arts back up. Arcus activates my turn. I did also try and go for like a physical strat one time just to maybe speed things up. And in theory, that seems like it'd be faster since he has 50% magic resist. In practice, you end up getting hit by flames of judgment if you get too close to McBurn. Like if both Ring and your other physical characters are too close to McBurn, flames of judgment hits both of you, you got all canceled. Then you have to spend a bunch of time trying to get your buffs up, and then he flames your judgment to you again. You get all canceled, and then you try and get your buffs up, and then he all cancels you. Um, it's basically hell. I think you, Serene Blessing Ring. Blessing of the Moon. Thanks. Except that you're going to take some big dick damage. <laughs> and then just pray and hope Chevalier continues to work. I'll handle this. Now's our chance! Let's move! Wow, who could have seen that coming? Get some new material, you little... I mean, there is Shining as... I mean, I really should be using Shining here, but like... Honestly, here's the thing. I don't respect this fight's difficulty. I think it's actually very mechanically easy. It's just he has an S-Crap that hits the entire screen and will one-shot you. And he's so ungodly tanky that it's hard to burst him down before he can do that three times in one fight. So it's like I don't want to use stuff that is on the soft ban list because I don't respect McBurn as a gameplay opponent here. If that makes any sense. I know it doesn't. Um, don't criticize me. Heal up. I, you know what? Heal, heal Emma, because she'll definitely, like, die next turn. Marcus, act huh. you, you probably you won't much. die. You can take a little heat. It's my right. turn. So we're double... So we can go back to doing damage, which we need to do, because we're on a timer. Uh... It, it seems like there's a fairly big delay before he would S-Craft the third time, but... We do still have to do essentially 300,000 damage. Now you may be saying, uh, can you not read? Magic this. Here I go. He basically has a million HP, which is very cool, uh, very fun. Now. Yeah. <laughs> very well. Marcus, activate. <laughs> But honestly, like, physical was not even doing that much more damage than this. Here I go. And it felt like the all cancels were worse. Like, they were a bigger deal. Now, I don't really know if our party is spaced out enough. Like, I think if Yusus gets hit by a Flame of Judgment on the very, very low chance it happens, we do get, like, turbo fucked. I think 
Crescent Mirror does actually block Flames of Judgment, I think, in the all cancel. I wasn't really paying attention, but I'm pretty sure he did do it one time on us when we had Crescent Mirror up and it didn't kill us, or it didn't cancel our buffs. Okay, you do have to heal here. Like, something kind of in the I mean, I guess you can buff. I mean, you're gonna get freaking Flames of Judgment. Anytime you buff yourself, you're just asking for it. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can ult, at least. Huh. Which we probably will preemptively. Come on. Okay, so regular auto. Surprising. Honestly, go ahead and Seraphic Ring, because A, you have the mana. I'll handle this. And B, you both need heals. Granted, if Emma gets hit, she's dead anyway, so. Marcus, activate! Turn to ash! It's my turn! I kind of forgot Reem was at low HP. It's, it's actually doesn't matter at all. And when we lose our buffs, that's the only real problem, and we're not going to have our link up with Elliot for a second, but... Arcus, activate. Actually, it barely matters. Very well. Use this, you need more CP. How about some? Of course! Can you Crescent Mirror in time? You can't. He will die to Purgatorial. I mean, there's like a slight chance Reen can live through Purgatorial Flame. Uh, it just depends on the damage variance. Oh, move! Crescent Shell! Here I go! Like, if you get a low roll in Purgatorial Flame, I think he can barely, barely live. Actually, we can cancel this, potentially. Come on! Very well. Please, my noble command, it's very sick. I suppose I should thank it's you. It's my turn. And you'll at least be able to re-up the speed on everyone else. So I think you just... Oh, there, there's a heal. You gotta remember. Arcus, activate! Very well. Now's our chance! Don't let it pass! Huh? Turn to act! Too slow! Come on! Here I go! Lucky. We, we, we can use every little bit of damage we get here. It's my turn! Can you queue up a Terrara? You can queue up an Athelus, which is actually... So that attack... I guess that has death flow, because sometimes that does 8,000, sometimes it does literally your max HP. Now, going for the Athelus there was kind of just pure luck, but... Thanks! Come on! My turn. God, I really should just overdrive and end it. I refuse, though. Like, I'd, I'd honestly rather continue to lose due to being stubborn than break my rules for this man. Marcus, activate! It's my turn! It does suck that we lost that, uh, extra S-Craft, though. Marcus, activate! You can take a little heat. Right. Here! I suppose I should Let's thank move. you. Thanks! It's my turn! Sorry, everyone. Yeah, so like, I mean, we're just getting this. unlucky that he keeps Brock, because sometimes that, that attack normally does like 8k. 
we just get like unlucky twice in a row. We can serene blessing. We just we've got to get damage Marcus, out there. Cut. Come on. Here I go. Blessing of the Thanks. moon. <laughs> I'll handle this. Honestly, I'm pretty close to putting in Fee and just like having her double stealth just for the extra chance we could make it through. Maybe I have to use this. Maybe I have to okay. just Maelstrom. Honestly, I think we're going to do that. I think Sorry, we, can you handle this? We'll do. I think we put in Fee, Concealing Wind. Beginning mission. Come on. Here. I suppose I should thank you. Your turn. I'll handle this. Again. Marcus, it's my this. turn. Thirty-five. We could. Oh, I could end it right now if I wanted to. Marcus, activate. I'm not done yet. You boost your strength. Huh. Thanks. Let's go ahead and do it now. This might actually kill. Come me. on. Come on. I'm not gonna all in. Okay, we win. Very well. Arcus, activate. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay, Reen. Come on. It's my turn. Still not quite gonna all of the moon. Even though I know I can. <laughs> the fight, honestly, I mean. Seriously. That's the power of the eight leaves. If his S craft did like 20k, like a fl like, I mean not a flat 20k, but like if the damage variance was like 18 to 20k instead of 18 to 26, if it was like, hey, it's gonna one shot your magic line like pretty much every single time, but characters who have built HP like say Reen or Laura who have like you know 22, like they will be able to always live through it, then that fight is actually pretty much completely okay. I like the idea of him having magic resist. To like try and like incentivize going for the more riskier physical strat there um but i feel like the all cancel is just so annoying uh like it just i mean you said the, the battle time was 35 minutes like that's insane now granted we didn't use spirit unification or overdrive but and we used spirit unification at the start of the fight but the one time. Now going back, I would have probably have changed my mind to allow like at least the overdrive or something just to make it faster. But once we had kind of like already won the fight, it felt bad to go back and uh, change my rules so that I could win. Great. Because I mean, I felt like mentally, I felt like I won that attempt at I'm the end so of the last bad. video when he just s crapped us for the third time right before he died a matter of course or after he gotten like four heals in a row <laughs> i've done hm. not bad <sighs> his strength is immense he isn't known as one of the strongest in ouroboros for nothing in a whole different league is right <laughs> Damn, this is good. Looks like you guys will do just fine. <gasps> what in the world? The, those flames around him. Who cares what Abyss and Steel have planned? I've been struggling to find someone ever since that idiot Luve went and kicked it. Luve? Lenhart the Blade Lord? I can't. To see how much I have to turn up the heat to take you kids out. Like, honestly, they could have just had this be the only fight we do in the tower. 
And it would have felt so much better. All of you? Like, in all honesty, if we had just skipped the Navale blue block fight and the, uh, the Xeno Leo, Leo, Xeno Leonidas fight. Like, I, I don't know. Because, I mean, like, I get it, right? Like, I don't expect them to be able to beat McBurn because he's been hyped up enough. And I'm like, okay, I understand. Um, this is, like, the one time where, they're like, JK, I wasn't really trying. Makes sense. It's within his character to not really try and take things that seriously. Get out of the way! And it does a good job of making it, like, you know, his dialogue there. It does make you feel a little accomplished. He really is the blazing demon. You know, him saying along the lines of like, you know, I'm gonna actually have to try if I wanna win. His power is beyond comprehension. Can he even be defeated by human hands? He's just like the flame demon in ancient legend. How can anyone be this strong? I don't like doing it, but it's better than us all dying here. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't use vacation. It's lore, okay? Rain doesn't like to do it. Heed my call. Oh. Valor. That won't be necessary. Okay, it is Victor. I kind of saw that coming from a mile away. Take this. I mean, he's really the only one that's been hyped up enough to be able to beat him or like fight him on equal ground. At least the only one that's been hyped up enough that's easily available. If I count our save. Father. Oh yeah, hey Laura, you're here. <laughs> I see I arrived not a moment too soon. I'm proud of you for withstanding his assault like that. Your lordship. Ah, I think I'm in love. <laughs> I mean, thank you for coming. Sarah, stop thinking out loud. Thank you so much it's for very coming. Very cringe. <laughs> the Radiant Blade Master, Victor S. Arce. How could I forget there was always one guy around here worth my time? Like, honestly, like, man, this section would have been so much better if you just cut the Blue Blanc and Diwale fight and the, uh, Xeno Leo fight. Well, no matter how skilled you might be, your sword isn't gonna be enough to defeat me. Because, like, this makes sense. Like, Victor has been hyped up a lot. Uh, it, it, you know, they even kind of alluded to them fighting earlier in the game. But you don't need me to tell you that. Back at the end of the right. intermission. So that kind of feels like, oh, that's being, you know, uh, fulfilled there. What? Is that a sword? It's a sword from a higher plane. No, it's... That sword shouldn't be able to exist in this world. God, I hate this too so much right now. It's called the Demonic Sword Anbar. I don't know, like, just the, the Selene and Emma's role has just started to piss me off. <laughs> and I don't know why. It's just like, uh, it's irrational, slightly. It was paired with the sword Kernviter that Luve used way back when. Is that, was that the name of his sword? I don't remember that. <laughs> but the two of us go so well together that it ends up looking a little more something like this. You just now noticing that? All right. You ready to get started? Even if it's so damn obvious you're not going to win. Not with my power. How naive. Me? So, like, real talk. Um, how is Loa even, like, close to as strong as this guy? Loa is just, like, a regular-ass dude. The Galan Charl. What? No blade could be more worthy of this duel than the one wielded by my ancestor. Like, Lloyd didn't have even have like a legendary bloodline or anything. He's just like a normal ass dude. Power. Which is part of partially what made him so cool, self. but. And what is a sword if not power wrought in steel? I can't deny that your unnatural power far surpasses what I can call for. But ultimately, it's not the might of one's blade, but will and strength of spirit that decide the battle. 
and so they shall here and now and like at least this is actually cool us being like so like us being saved doesn't even bother me <laughs> have it your way I mean it's very your anime but just one more thing I, can I mean I definitely to like it together with your sword and that wing of light around it <laughs> don't make me laugh I'm just saying, this is way cooler than a mech fight. Like, this is what we could have had, Green. This is what we could have been doing all this game. Could have been fighting with big ass glowy swords, and instead, oh, I'm gonna activate my uh, dodging maneuver this in the isn't mech. Happening. <sighs> it's as if I'm watching a clash between entire armies. We have no place in a battle between those who transcend the limits of ordinary humans. Go now! There are more important matters for you to take care of. Now's our chance. Let's get to the elevator. All Very right. well. You, sis. The line wasn't very well. Bro, Victor's evasion's off the fucking charts, man. To give Lloyd a run for his money. I thought my heart was gonna stop. You're telling me, wait, you have a heart? I'm not sure we would have been gotten out of their lab not for Viking on our side. Likely not. I hope he's alright. The fern didn't even look human by the end. The blazing demon is unsurprisingly apt. There's no reason to worry for my father's safety. He's not one to be bested no matter how inhuman his foe may be. If you open this path for us, all we can do is use it to reach our destination. Yeah, you're right. Roger. I like the way you think. We are getting this far to a lot of people. We can't afford to let them down. The highest stratum. You think this is the last one? <laughs> this should be the castle's highest floor. If it is, it'll lead us to an area called the Vermilion Throne at the top. I'm guessing that's our crow and Vita are waiting for us. All right, then. It looks like the path up there is just a straight shot to the top. We're almost there. Keep your guards up until the very end. Got it. Of course. Understood. Naturally. Mm-hmm. Well, let's go. Do y'all have to say something different? Like, you have to... It's kind of weird. Like, well, let's all say one different line and then dramatically pause after each person says one thing. Can we can, like gets a bussin' on upgrading this stuff. There, you're all turbo upgraded. Anything, anything else we want to do? Anything we want to make? Ooh, a Seraphic Ring Rare. The extra HP is quite nice. Because I can't... You just have regular one, right? So you take an upgraded one. Probably really won't matter. Like, you're not going to have enough HP to live through anything important. I don't wonder, should I give you Angel? I don't know why you don't have Angel, if I'm being honest. How set up for you guys? Like, I mean... 
He could try and use you for a little bit. Laura has leveled up again, which is nice. And we could probably get rid of Revolution, because she was like, I don't know, 10 levels behind us at one point. I gave her Oriochi. Like, I don't really know what to give her. I mean, this is bra but Brave just doesn't... I don't know. It doesn't feel that good anymore. It doesn't give, like, such a massive amount of strength that it feels like it's worth it compared to... Because, like, in the first game, in the past, it wasn't super great once you got better stuff. But a, I feel like there's more Master Quartz that are be better that we have available, like, good physical Master Quartz. Um... But also, Brave just doesn't feel... Like, I feel like it doesn't give as much strength as it used to in comparison to all the other physical ones. When it used to be like, you know, it was the strength one. Like, it would give you max. I hope we're strong enough to take that monster off. Alright, I mean, honestly, one of the reasons why I don't like physical that much in this game is the, I mean, not really the nerf, I mean, Forte just works like the way it does normally in the base game, but, uh... Like, I really like the way Forte worked in the Cold Steel 1 difficulty mod, where it was single target but 50%, and La Forte was, you know, AoE but 25. <sighs> that treasure chest looks really nice. That just kind of, like, makes more sense as opposed to Forte just being objectively bad. Stand your toes. Your turn. Uh, like you have to do this, or else we die. My blade will cleave the grates and light the way. Reen, the ignorance hasn't been cleaved. Reen, the ignorance. Chevalier? Chevalier? Bro, why do you have so much HP? What the fuck? Who in the hell thought physical was a good idea? I won't give up! I won't give up! Bro, you got no CP, dude. You know what? You think I want overdrive, you little fuckboy? Overdrive! Oh, you think just because you're a random enemy, I'm not going to overdrive you? Now's our chance. I'll you're have done. you know, I have no need for double overdrive. And done. Now. It's not really here the I damage go. I was looking for, if I'm being honest. Now. You're done. Of course. It's actually, like, pretty, pretty sad damage. You also need to have Laforte if you're going to, like, exist. Thanks! Here we go! It's just su such an important thing to have. Sit. No, you don't! Ah. I'll handle it. And you are almost okay. dead at this point, but. My turn! Here I go! Oh, we can summon Valimar now. How does that work? I thought he was resting. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. And done. Okay. You didn't see that coming. It's my turn. How about this? I'll handle it. Yeah. Got it. Got you. Here I go. That's the power of the eight leaves. Don't don't mind me. Just. Just walking. Let's not overestimate ourselves. Don't mind Stay me. Focused. Never fighting you again. Don't that mind me. Be a pain. <laughs> Careful. I refuse to ever engage you in combat. The chest.
But I am glad the McBurn saving was done pretty well. Um, because, like, I mean, also that's part of the reason the why the a, uh, on. like, Clear and Sheeran saving us, and same with, uh, who saves us the first time? Oliver and Toval? Like, I don't know, like, I don't feel like those two together are really all that stronger than all of Class 7, you know? Like, especially... Like, how much they hype up Sarah in the first game, and then as soon as... They never really, like, take her into consideration. Um, it feels like story-wise. I mean, is there a Healy up here? Yeah. We do need to make... Can we, like, what can we make food-wise? Because we are running... Like, out. Looking like all, all our good stuff requires, uh, uh, we can make potato croquettes at least, but we can't make spicy curry because we don't have any shells, which really sucks because we only have the two. We can make a few mixed grill, or we can make one mixed grill. Okay, let's give this a try. Don't let me down. There we go. You've let me down. And you shall never be forgiven. Okay, let's give this a try. Bro, how are all of you just like there we go. okay? We got all these damn characters and none of you can make an exciting grill. Okay, let's give this a try. We'll be here all day if we have to. There we go. I know you can do it. Fine. You wanna make me go there? Okay, let's give this a try. Wow, people can actually eat this. Now, what did you have equipped there? Oh god, I don't remember. Oh god, I have no clue what it was. Uh, Reen, what'd you have there? Reen, hey buddy. Do you remember what you had equipped there? Um... Was it just like something that make, make you go fast? You get, you get Chrono, no, you, was it Chrono Drive? Okay, it was probably Chrono Drive, because you're missing that. I mean, I guess you should take that. Lost Eden's just damage, right? It's like damage and mute, I think, or confuse. There's another elevator. <sighs> that must lead us to the castle's highest point, the Vermilion Throne. What should we do? The only thing we can do. Leave. This marks the end of our investigation. We can't go onward with just us, though. We need to call the others. What others? Class 7's only truly complete when all of us are together. It wouldn't be right to have them wait downstairs while we finish things up. I mean, yeah, it's a little weird that we even leave. I mean, I know why, because you can't have 12 party members at once. Uh, but why not? Agreed. I mean, I guess because you could just like, well, I mean, I don't, I don't know. How OP would it really be? No matter the outcome, our journey ends here. <laughs> it's tempting to feel nostalgic about how far we've come at this point, but that can wait until we're celebrating our victory. Let's make sure we have no regrets. <laughs> well, just make sure you're completely ready before stepping onto it. 
Because, like, honestly, the disconnect about just, like, leaving four of our party members behind is larger than the disconnect of, like, why aren't they all fighting at once in, in combat? Or, like, why are we only selecting, like, seven people to fight at once? I don't know. I mean, I actually would have generally would prefer if it was just, like, everyone's with us, but we can only use, you know, six or seven at a time. As opposed to just literally leaving them behind. Because there's not really, like, a good explanation for why we leave them behind. Now, I would like to... I mean, if we're going into potentially the final boss, we probably should get CP before we start. And also, let's be honest. Like, well, let's just roll the Dream Squad. like this. And I don't know if you can get hit by Noble Command then. It's like we need you to basically be like slightly spread out at the start hopefully and then because really I think it actually is definitely worth the slight like wasting a couple turns just to get in perfect position where Noble Command and Holy Breath will still hit but some AoEs won't hit all three of them. Granted Chevalier does lessen the need for that but because I think throughout that entire McBurn fight Chevalier failed to proc like only one time. Or, like it was only one time that he hit like Usus, uh, Elliot, and Emma aside from doing S crafts. How much better are these? Like a hundred better. Did I ever exchange our stuff? No. We definitely should at least buy those. It really sucks you can't buy tier all bombs. Or even just something slightly better because 6,000 is so insultingly low. But we'll buy weapon upgrades for these three. Are they who we want to use in combat? I mean, yeah. I mean, Laura, we could maybe replace with Elisa. I think Elisa's a bit better than her. It could be time. Uh, the, the meme of beating the game with Elliot still using the default weapon is too strong. Yeah, we should also equip stuff again. Now that we don't need a... I mean, let's think. We're probably, we're probably gonna fight Vita. You definitely know there's gonna be some... Some nightmare type shit coming out. So I think you take your evergreen... Give it to us, since you probably won't be used that much. If you do get used, you can keep a regular green one. Abyss Shadow. Why are these not organized by name, man, or alphabetically? Am I blind? Where's my other Abyss Shadow? Okay, real funny. Who the hell is it on? I'm really glad they don't let you uh, check your backline party members without having to go. Because, like, this really, I think, adds to the experience. Have, none of... Does, does, Machias, do you still have my shit? I'm gonna beat your... You little fuck boy. I'm gonna beat you up. So hard, you're gonna... Oh, you're gonna you're gonna rue the day, Machias. 
Won't be long now before we find ourselves facing off with Duke Hyan and that witch. This fight will pit our convictions and our pride against theirs to see who is the greater. We're all gonna put it on the line and we're going to win. That we will. I look forward to seeing you demonstrate what true nobility means to you. This will be your finest chance to do- Oh yeah, do you all say new stuff? It's in some indescribable power waiting at the top of this castle. I've never felt anything like it. Me neither. Still, we can't turn back. Yeah, the uh, immense power, even though we couldn't even beat the regular people guarding it. But we'll somehow be able to beat that. I mean, I know there's Valimar, but like, uh, I always admire my homelands, ancient warriors. But today, I want to be able to stand with them as a peer to protect both the places and the people I love. Here we are, the big final battle. If you ask me where I thought I'd be in a few months when I first joined the class, this really wouldn't be it. Especially without an order from Gramps. Yeah, things certainly escalated, but you're one of us now. We got a classmate to drag back together, so come on. Righto! Does that mean I get to win the party? Ha 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 funny joke. Our final battle is just ahead of us. Don't forget, Reen, you're not alone. We're right by your side, like always. So let's do this together, for the sake of our future. Yeah, okay, whatever, dude. Yeah, I guess we'll... Just to read the final dialogue. Kind of swip and swap out. Well, I already talked to you. You were supposed to be put in. We made it to the highest stratum, and our final battle is finally at hand. But we can't start celebrating just because we're here. Chess doesn't truly begin until one's king is in check. Which means we can't be careless until the checkmate is ours. See, I do listen to your chess lectures sometimes. <laughs> at least we're on the same page. So let's go and finish this. Ha! Sorry. Elliot didn't mean to try and slice you in half. We made it to the final stretch. I might not be much of a fighter, but I made it through here with everyone by my side. As long as you all stand with me, I know I can make it to the very end. We all feel the same about you, Elliot. Not much longer now. Let's keep going. Right, let's show Crow and Beetle what we're made of. The end's finally in sight. It's just a shame this next mission's gonna be our hardest one ever. Well, I guess it wouldn't make sense if things suddenly started getting easy. <laughs> I hate to say it, but you're right. Still, we made it this far. No sense turning back now. As long as I'm fighting for my new family's future, nothing can stop me. Okay, who haven't we heard? Uh, we've heard, we've heard the Milster, Emma, Sarah, and Laura. Even ignoring his demonic transformation, it's plain to see the McBurn is anything but human. So I'm certain my father will not be bested. I believe in him. I know that he'll come through. He has to. I'm sure he will. My focus now should be on following the path that he cleared for us. Duke Cayenne, Vita, and most importantly, Crow will wait. No way to go but forward, but this time we'll finally surpass them. Then let's go with courage in our hearts and blades in our hand. There she goes. Oh, like, where, what have you done with the real Laura? You haven't mentioned swords in about eight seconds. How are you feeling, Valimar? My mana has now largely recovered. I'll be able to enter the battle at any time. The time for you to fight the Azure Awakener is nigh. Are you prepared, Irene? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. This time I'm not going to lose to Crow, or Vita. And I shall support you as best as I can. I shall pour all my spirit into this blade, and together we shall emerge victorious. There is part of me that's like, what if we rescinded all restrictions just to absolutely fucking viciously beat in Vita's ass? Like, just destroy her mind, body, and soul? Like, just pop up in the club with the fucking ice crown on? I, I won't do it even though part of me wants to. Mainly because if I do do that and we lose, I have to uninstall and delete my channel. This will be the final stage of Ordine and Valimar's final battle. This will be the stage of the final battle. Did Vita really do all this just for one fight? I don't follow her plan, but I'm determined to make her talk. There's no way we'll let her beat us. Crow either. After we win, we'll bring both of them back with us. We can do this. Now I feel dumb for ever thinking you'd break your naive streak. Maybe it's that kind of thing that got her this far in the first place. Okay, now let's actually change it. Wait, did I talk to you? Bringing Crow home isn't going to be a walk in the park. I know that better than anyone. You're not planning to give up just because of that, though, right? Absolutely not. We've already come this far. We'll go the rest of the way, too, no matter how daunting things seem. If you're in for the long haul, I'll be backing you up all the way. Paving the way to the future for our students is what a teacher does, after all. Okay, so let's get our real party in. Okay, that's the real party. I think we... I mean... 
Elisa is under leveled as shit, but whatever. We're probably not gonna. If we use Elisa, it's just it's just gonna be to like use her as like her uh, craft or something. You definitely don't need that anymore. If you're not an active member. I guess it could give you the Hellfire. Grand, you don't really need it with Criminal. And then, what do I want to give you? Honestly, just more speed. Seems kind of good. I want to give Grail Burst to someone. Can you equip it on Mirage? You can't. Oh, well, we could do. Now this is upgraded. Give it to you. Granted, I mean, I don't know. We've used Grillburst in the past, so I can't pretend to... Like, say, oh, I'm not going to use it because it's OP. We've definitely used it a couple times. And I mean, it is strong, but... I think it's probably more OP in fights when you, if you can like use it to actually win a fight before the enemy ever gets to go or something. But since you know battles are longer in the, with the difficulty mod at least, all right. I mean, there's not really too much point in, like, going up to the Vermilion Throne at this point. I guess we just kind of keep doing, like, filler prep for a little bit. When do we get this? Yeah. Yeah. Me like. My man could have 150 speed. My man could have 150 speed. I mean, because it's like, uh... I mean, the crit's also pretty, but it's like... We, know, we just have to, like, pick our poison. Like, what type of statuses do we think we're going to run into? I don't know. Like, all if for the last few fights, it's been, like, all of them. That was the one thing I did like about McBurn, is that, uh, you know, he just had the one real status, basically. Well, he had Death Blow as well, which is kind of annoying, especially because that attack doing Death Blow isn't super obvious. Like, the effect for Death Blow is not very good at all. Like, honestly, I'm not even entirely... I think there is a visual effect when Death Blow procs, but it's not very noticeable. I just feel like Nightmare and Confusion seem like something that would happen in this fight. But also, it's like if I, you know, make that assumption and then they're not used, then we've literally wasted an accessory slot. I guess we'll stop here. Um, I think I will just make sure we have max CP going in just because we're ending at a decent time. Dude, Elliot, what is with your HP? You already have regular Thalos. Can I give you an HP too just to not be quite so close to death? 
I mean, granted, it's not really going to be enough to let you survive an S-Craft anyway. Thirteen percentage, it's just not enough to, like, feel good about it, I don't think. And the only thing I got, the evasion, because then we're going to have magic up, or magic reflect up, basically the entire fight anyway. Because you kind of have to. But, uh... I forgot what I was going to say. That gives you a 2,000 at least. Still not really enough to feel good about. Oh yeah, if you have the evergreen, you definitely don't need this hit. We could replace it with something better. And we're either gonna go more speed or more HP. You've already got pretty much as much HP as you could have. I mean, you could have like an Akala gem, but that's on. Dude, I don't really care to go back and get it. And honestly, the S-Crafts do enough that, like... Because, I mean, my farm was doing 26k. There's no way we can get Reen above that. Like, consistently, to let him always live or anything. Maybe just speed. You don't have the mana to really support a Seraphic Ring. I think you just equip this just for the extra speed. Like, I'm not going to use Chrono Burst, but... The accuracy doesn't have too much of a point. But alright, we'll stop here. In the next video, we ascend to the Vermilion Throne and begin our uh, final boss battles. Well, we'll see how it goes against Vita. I mean, I would love to absolutely destroy her because she annoys the shit out of me. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's status hell, hell and we just instantly lose or something. I'm ExtraTruzy87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.